Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Ever since the advent of naval warfare, the fast and stealthy removal of the troops from enemy territory has always been a difficult task. This difficulty has however been surmounted by the use of highly versatile helicopters. When special forces carry out missions in potentially dangerous territory, it is imperative that they be extracted as efficiently as possible. However, troop extraction becomes extremely difficult when it has to be done by sea. While smaller boats can be used to quickly ferry the teams out of danger, ships like destroyers and aircraft carriers are not fast enough to escape detection or immediate reprisal. This is where the combination of sea and air combat technology has proven to be the perfect solution. For years now, the 100-foot-long Boeing CH-47 Chinook helicopter has given most Navy teams in small water craft the much-needed edge. The twin-engine Chinook has an interior bay capable of holding up to 55 troops at once. The dual rotor system boasts a combined maximum force of 10,138 horsepower. Uh, typically, we can provide about 15 to 16,000 pounds of uh, heavy lift support to the customer. So that could be either internally loading a Humvee with a trailer. That could be um, any sorts of palletized cargo. We have the cargo on and offloading system, the cool system installed in the aircraft. Uh, that allows us to use the Air Force uh, 463L pallets uh, to easily get cargo on and off the helicopter with winch capability. Uh, we have three cargo hooks on the aircraft. So we have the forward center and the aft, which uh, allows us to lift just about anything up to the max gross weight of the aircraft, um, as long as it's rigged appropriately. As a fast deployment helicopter, it also features a large ramp at the rear. In situations where a small boat needs to be extracted quickly, pilots will simply hover at water level. Within seconds, the Navy team, the boat, and the helicopter can be flying away to safety at nearly 190 miles per hour. Chinook was designed by Boeing in the early 1960s, seeking better capabilities than what was obtainable with the helicopter models of that time. The Chinook with its massive 60-foot rotors was intended to carry very large payloads into very difficult areas when needed. With the ability to transport up to 13 tons, it allows for the movement of large numbers of troops and vehicles wherever they are needed on the battlefield. The twin rotor aircraft was also outfitted with a variety of armaments and could reach heights of 20,000 feet very quickly. When even faster extractions are needed, the Chinook is capable of using a technique known as sling loading to pick up vehicles, supplies, and other heavy objects. I would say the most difficult and the most dangerous maneuver that we do is doing sling load operations uh, when we have actual soldiers hooking up a load from underneath the helicopter as I'm hovering just several feet above their head. And to think that, you know, 50 pounds of force could come down on them if I don't do my job. This is essentially a tough sling load line and swivel attached to the bottom of the fuselage. While hovering, the rope can be quickly hooked to straps on the payload by soldiers on the ground minimizing the time it would have taken to load the helicopter before getting airborne. The Chinook can support up to eight tons using this technique that enables it to easily transport important military items.
basically, my crew and myself are responsible for bringing a combat medical team to the initial point of injury and bringing them back to a Roll 2 hospital. This is where our medics would be. So we're gonna have a doctor, a nurse, and two medics on board the aircraft every time we fly and go pick up a patient. Basically it takes up about two seats right here and there's enough room to lay patients on the floor. Aside from troop and supply delivery, helicopters have a long and well-established history of being used for medical evacuations as well. In fact, their ability to remain stable and take off and land vertically makes them capable of assisting or rescuing civilian and military personnel regardless of their location. Currently, most developed countries use helicopters as ambulances for hospitals, as well as Coast Guard medical emergency vehicles. When performing an evacuation in dire circumstances such as on oil rigs or ships at sea, the helicopter in most cases will not even touch down. Instead, it will hover about 15 to 20 feet above the helipad. Personnel affix a sling rope with a padded end loop to the patient who is usually accompanied by a crew member. Once in place, the patient and the attending crew member will carefully be reeled into the cargo bay where a medical team will be waiting to provide treatment. You know the leaders. Tell me what drag you I've got no pip right now, but it'd be 10 to 35. I've got F502 at 21. We can bump that up. Sometimes, the sling rope is spread out and attached to a stretcher bed when the patient is incapable of standing or being directly strapped. The workhorse for many such civilian and military rescue teams is the Augusta Westland EH-101 Merlin MK4 helicopter. An advanced design first introduced in the late 1990s, this single rotor helicopter boasts a 64-foot fuselage with enough space for up to 24 fully equipped troops. As a mobile hospital, it can accommodate up to four stretchers at once, as well as a full medical team. The EH-101 is particularly easy to recognize thanks to its shovel-shaped BERP rotor blade tips, which improve aerodynamic efficiency and increase the max takeoff weight. Besides which, the helicopter is also equipped with other special features that make it the perfect fit for the job. The versatility of helicopters like the Merlin MK4 continues to outweigh any negatives of using helicopters for offshore rescues. Though rain and harsh seas may cause some difficulty for crew, these rotor machines remain amongst the fastest and safest ways of inserting troops or moving vulnerable people to safety. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.